Hello friends, this video on evolution part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about human evolution, that is origin and evolution of man. Now when we talk about evolution of human beings, you actually see if you look at human beings, do you think that all of them look similar? No, they're not. Some of them have got uh, straight hair, some of them have got curly hair, some of them have brown hair, some have golden, some have black, some have got fair skin, some have got dark skin, some have got small eyes, some have big eyes. So their features are so different from each other. And in fact, you would even see that people living in some part of the country, they look so different from people living from some in some other part of the world. So there are a lot of differences. Now here we will talk about from where did human beings, I mean how they were before and how they are now. So how did they cover this entire journey. Now no matter how much different we look, no matter wherever we stay, whichever part of the world we stay, all human beings belong to homo sapiens. So we are all homo sapiens it's irrespective of our hair color, irrespective of our skin color, irrespective of our hair shape or anything. We are all homo sapiens. But here what we are more interested to know is how homo sapiens originated, how homo sapiens came into being. So human beings first evolved in the parts in Africa. So Africa was the place where human beings were seen for the first time. And then from Africa, gradually they spread all over the world. And today, human beings are like one of the, one of the most important living organisms existing on this earth. So a lot of the human evolution has occurred in Africa. And uh, in fact, in Africa, almost 15 to 20 different species of early humans were found. So that is uh, in the form of fossils or other evidences, but some 15 to 20 different species of early human beings were found. And that is a quite big number. Now, human beings, the great apes of Africa, gorillas, they all share a common ancestor. So right now, some of you might feel that human beings and gorilla, they have the same ancestor. That might sound surprising to you, but actually there is nothing to get surprised because there are so many things in common between human beings, gorillas and apes that yes, they share a common ancestor and they are more closely related than their relation with any other organism. So here we will look at the various stages of human evolution. Now the different stages of human evolution are Dryopithecus, Ramapithecus, Australopithecus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus and finally Homo sapiens. Now these are not only the stages because even within this there were many other like Neanderthals and etc were also there but right now I am not getting into the detail of each of them. I am just trying to tell you that how exactly they gradually improved, how things changed with each stage. Now if you talk about the first one that is Dryopithecus. So this Dryopithecus and Ramapithecus they both existed almost around the same time. So they existed around 15 million years ago. Now these Dryopithecus were more similar to the apes like the gorillas and the chimpanzees. It looked more similar to them. Whereas the Ramapithecus, it looked more similar to how we see human beings today. So otherwise they both existed around the same time. But some of them looked more like uh, uh, the gorillas. The other one looked more like human beings. When I say more, more like man means less hairy and a little more erect when compared to the gorillas because if you see the gorillas and all they do not walk as erect as human beings right so when we say man like so they are going to be more erect they are going to be less hairy and when it is like ape like they are going to be more hairy and they are going to walk on four legs so they were the first stages now we will see that with each stage the organisms became less hairy and all these evidences were found from fossils. We will also see that the brain got developed with each stage. With each stage they became more erect. So these were some of the common changes which happened as 
the, the stages increased. So after Ramapithecus came the Australopithecus. So Australopithecus, you can see here, this picture represents Australopithecus. So this is a, how an Australopithecus used to look like. So does it look exactly like how we look today? No. It has got a lot more hair all over its body, right? So even the facial features, if you see, it resembles to a large extent to apes, gorillas, etc. But right now the features have also changed quite a bit. So these Australopithecus, they existed just 2 million years ago. So when you compare it with these 15 million years ago, they were quite more recent. Now they mostly ate fruits and they used stone weapons for hunting. So they were not non-vegetarians, they only ate fruits and nothing, nothing else other than that. However, their height was not much. So they were not taller than four feet. But right now you see human beings, they are five feet, six, even six feet. So human beings are quite taller than these, but they were quite shorter in height. However, they could walk upright. They could walk straight, even though not completely straight, but yeah, more or less they used to walk upright. So the fossils of Australopithecus were also found mostly from the African regions. From Australopithecus gradually evolved the first human-like being which had less hair and which had a developed brain and the brain capacity was around 700 cc. So this was the capacity of the brain. But till now the brain capacity was very less. In fact for Dryopithecus and Ramapithecus it was even in it was in the range of 300 cc. That was the brain capacity. In Australopithecus somewhere around 450 cc but now with Homo habilis the brain cap capacity increased. It was around 700 cc and the it, if you talk about the way it walked they walked like the normal human beings like the way we do today so that means a lot of development was seen in homo habilis and that is why they are said to be the first human like being which actually looked like humans Next was Homo erectus. They existed 1.5 million years ago and their brain capacity increased even more and it became 900 cc. And Homo erectus also ate meat. So they became omnivorous. They ate both um, vegetables as well as meat. And finally came the Homo sapiens who arose around 75,000 years ago and once the homo sapiens came into picture there were many other developments which came in along with them like human settlements started agriculture began cave art began so so many different things began because homo sapiens had a very developed brain so they utilized their brain they did many new things and that is how the entire civilization started so these are the various stages through which the human evolution have come across and that is how homo sapiens came into existence so if you talk about the migration of human beings now if you see the entire world the initially they were seen in the regions of africa and from africa only they started migrating to asia around two million years ago migration happened from africa to asia and again around 1.5 million years ago migration happened to europe and then gradually to rest of the world so for the first time it was there in africa then gradually to asia and europe and only after that to the rest of the world. So that is how the human beings gradually got spread throughout the world. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.